ever lost track of your inventory and ended up overstocking or worse running out of products just when customers needed them most welcome to learn accounting pro studio and say goodbye to the chaos in this video i'm going to show you how to build a smart simple and powerful stock control sheet in excel perfect for small businesses shopkeepers or anyone tired of manual guesswork uh, at the end of the video i will show you how to build this interactive and dynamic dashboard so let's get into it so we will start with a blank worksheet and uh, we will write stock control sheet here stock control sheet and i'm going to merge it till this column i merge and center now we will write down our headings product unit price opening stock purchases sales closing stock then value of closing stock value of goods sold and lastly our reorder status okay now i'm going to format our headings we will wrap text center it centralize it and i'm going to bold all of our headings right now let's increase the font size we will select all our columns and increase the size perfect and increase the size of the stock control sheet as well okay now let's select all borders now I'm going to do a bit of more formatting let's color i will do this white color and blue and here we will select this right so now i'm going to write down our product names this is an electronics business worksheet so we will write down electronics names right so here we have all the names now we will write down unit price okay so here we have unit prices now we will write down open stock now we will write purchases now we will write down our sales now for the closing stock we will write down the formula is equal to opening stock plus purchases and less sales and now we will write down our formula here we have all our closing stock for all our products now for the value of closing stock we will write down formula is equal to closing stock multiplied by unit price and we will drag down and now for the value of goods sold we will write down the formula is equal to sales multiplied by unit price right and we will write down right now we will use separators Select this A column and select this column and center. All right, now let's make Excel alert us when it's time to reorder stock automatically. Here's the formula 
is equal to if the bracket open and this uh, closing stock cell is equal to zero and quotation marks if this again this closing stock cell is less than equal to 20 20 is our we are assuming 20 is our reorder level then reorder quotation mark close and comma otherwise available quotation mark close brackets close you can see here it's alerting us to reorder because the closing stock is 10 for this product now let's drag it down all the way through down all the way through and here you can see you have reorder status for all your products don't worry it looks scarier than it is let me break it down real quick okay so we're looking at closing stock in cell f3 here uh, if stock is zero we just leave the cell blank right if stock is 20 or less it says reorder so you know it's time to restock uh, if it is more than 20 it simply says available meaning you're good simple logic excel checks your stock and gives you an instant status update it's like having a mini inventory assistant right in your spreadsheet to make our sheet more intuitive let's add conditional formatting uh, select all the cells below this reorder status heading now go to home and conditional formatting new rule format only cells that contain go to this drop down menu and select specific text and write here reorder right and now go to format select fill and then select this red color and then OK and OK right so here you can see reorder has turned into red and now you can do this for available as well select all the cells go to conditional formatting go to manage rules now new rule and select format only cells that contain now specific text and write available here and go to format then fill and green color select and then ok and now apply right so here you can see the available is showing green now any product needed restocking will stand out as red and any product that is available will stand out as green now let's visualize our data highlight your data range here go to insert pivot table and create a pivot table into a new sheet and select drag product to rows and closing stock to values like this right okay now let's do a little bit for matting here go to design report layout and show in tabular form this is showing product now right this pivot table shows stock levels per product category for a visual representation select this pivot table go to insert now go to pivot table chart column and then ok now you have this dynamic chart displaying your inventory status you can format it color as well like this and this is showing you different products and now you can add data labels here 
and now you have your closing stock numbers here on top of the bars now we can update the closing stock figure to see if the chart also updates go to your stock control sheet and let's uh, so for example we can update this and make it uh, 200 opening stock now we have 160 as closing stock of laptops now go back and go to data and refresh all now you can see this has updated it's 160 and laptops here has also updated 160 and that's how you create a professional automated stock control sheet in excel complete with real-time stock levels reorder alerts and a dashboard you can actually use if this video helped you give it a thumbs up so i know to make more like this and don't forget to subscribe to learn accounting pro studio for more excel tips accounting tutorials and practical tools for your business thanks for watching keep learning and i'll see you in the next one